<laughs> Hi, welcome to the Happy Mouth Zoom with the Worldwide Coordinator of Happy Mouth, the talented and beautiful Shauna Teakin, <laughs> who is also an Access Consciousness Facilitator and three-day body class facilitator, among a lot of other things. And I have the pleasure of working with Shauna. I'm Phoebe Gibbs. I'm a certified facilitator as well. I live in North Carolina. Shauna lives in Brisbane. So it's been really exciting working with Happy Mouth through Shauna's work and uh, supporting that and learning more about it. I had heard about it some years ago and I have purchased one of the teleclass series and it has knocked me on my butt. And I have been to all the access classes up to maestro class and this stuff still just blows my mind the potency that Dr. Tom um, in his soft-spoken way uh, just brings to the challenging questions of really what is my commitment to living and to change things in my life including my mouth that are about degeneration. So I thank Shauna for bringing that to me and tell us more, Shauna. Thank you, Phoebe. Phoebe is actually my worldwide coordinator, which is amazing and wonderful for me. She has her amazing energy feelers all around the world, <laughs> all my classes and all the future classes. So I'm, I'm so grateful for her amazing awareness um, and her contribution. Um, today, uh, many of you may already be familiar with Happy Mouth and maybe some of you are not. We have a lot of people on this call this morning, despite the fact that we called it, you know, two days out. There's over 100 people um, online. So hi, everyone. Thank you. Um, if you're listening to the recording and its translations, it looks like we'll be translating into French and poss possibly Portuguese as well. So be patient with us. So Many of you may know about Happy Mouth Generative Energetic Dentistry and maybe some of you don't. So I will give you some brief information about that. But really today is about um, being happy, not just in your mouth, but in your life and how that is actually the source for a sustainable planet. Most of us don't put together these two things, that if your body is filled with joy, happiness and vitality, that is actually the source for the planet, for, the, for nature and the earth to thrive. Somehow we have got it uh, twisted around that if the planet is healthy, then it follows we will be healthy. And actually it's the other way around. If we're happy and healthy, the planet will thrive not to survive, will thrive. So if you're online and you're not muted, can you mute yourself? Because um, in, in our house, there's no vacuuming to be done <laughs> while I'm online. <laughs> Even if it's in another room, Bob, turn that vacuum cleaner off or TV or whatever it is, because we'll pick it up. So I've titled today, How to Have a Happy Mouth and Live Longer Too. Because what I discovered was in the process of me having at the time, what was some horrendous um, issues, problems, dental um, stuff with my teeth going on, which was undermining my health. In my search for something to change that, I happened upon Dr. Tom's Happy Mouth system. And in listening to him being interviewed by Gary Douglas, who's the founder of Access Consciousness, Gary listened to Tom talk about the points on the head and all the systems that should be there, and we'll talk about that in a minute, for the body. Gary had this moment of brilliance where he went, hang on a minute, Tom. This system is actually about indefinite living for bodies. And it's like, I heard that and went, what? Hello? Indefinite living means what we term fountain of youth, rejuvenation, being able to live as long as you want, 100 years, 200 years, 300 years, 400 years, 800 years, in a body that's vital, healthy, flexible, has got energy, that feels great, that you can go out and have a wonderful life as long as you'd like to. And that for me was the key because I've been looking for that for about 40 years, since the age of about 18 or 19. I've researched every diet, exercise program, supplement, 
meditation breathing technique that you can possibly imagine as i say i've meditated upside down back to front with a crystal tied to my head underwater staring at a flame in silence for days i've done it all in this search for where do you get to this space or this state where the body starts to heal and regenerate itself now i have to say that access bars is my number one anti-aging tool it's i know here's a secret too i no longer meditate after many many years of being a meditator because i found that access bars if you don't know what it is look it up google it touching points very gently on the head puts you in a amazing brainwave space where your body can allow itself to heal so i'd already been doing the bars for about five years when i found this missing piece for me of happy mouth so let me uh backtrack just a little what's happy mouth when we say happy mouth we're actually speaking about a series of points on the head which when stimulated and rubbed and if you like massaged awaken activate exponentialize systems that should be running in your body already that your body was designed to have operating which will uh, restore bone if you have bone loss repair teeth if a tooth gets damaged regrow gum if your gums are receding take care of plaque and calculus and stimulate a tooth bud to grow and grow a new tooth if your body requires a new tooth in conjunction with those points on the head access consciousness tools of clearing clearing processes um, and some hands-on body processes as well that are just from happy mouth so when i say the happy mouth system that's what i'm talking about where should i go from here phoebe i have a mass of information all all shouting at me right now i can't actually hear you you must be muted i was trying to be a good observer you could talk about the class yes okay in a happy mouth three-day class Dr. Tom Colso, who is the um, dentist, the American dentist who's been practicing dentistry for many years uh, in the USA, um, will take you through all of those particular points and the systems that are activated. We will have a room full of massage tables so that you are actually running these points on someone's head and they're running them on you. So you get the physical experience, the hands-on experience of what that is like. We have only had one three-day happy mouth class so far and that was in paris in may i have to say that it's the most intense class i've been to um, of all the classes of all the many classes i've done taken in the last nine years why is that because when you start to activate these long dormant systems all of the traumas all of the fears all of the things that have ever come up in any lifetime for you around your teeth around eating around sex around communication um just about mm -hmm. anything is going to come up for clearing and in that class you will learn how to do sessions on other people family friends clients if you choose um, a lot of personal questions get answered tom is very good with if people stand up to the microphone and say i've got this tooth down here or i've got this should i have an implant he takes a lot of time with um, answering questions about fluoridation of water about implants about uh, root canals dental amalgams anything that comes up uh, he welcomes because the more questions are asked the more awareness more information comes forward for him um, and I would say that the biggest intensity that comes up for most people, and here's the underpinning of happy mouth and why it's actually called happy mouth, is that none of these systems to restore, regenerate, rejuvenate your mouth and body can really fully be operational if you are not choosing life. And many of us don't realize that we actually have a subconscious movement towards death. Now, I don't mean that we're suicidal. I'm not talking about depression. 
I'm talking about how in this reality, we are told that you have only so many years to live in your physical body that it will undoubtedly deteriorate probably from about the age of 40. Slowly, 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 until you die, you're done, your body's had it, you're out of here. That is a subconscious agreement movement towards death. It's, you know, they say death and taxes, they're inevitable. This is presenting a totally different paradigm. We are saying that your body, biological wonder that it is, is actually designed to be self generating, self regenerating. Now we know that already because we've seen that, you know, it's old wisdom, but it's true. Every seven years, you have a completely new skeleton in your body. Your body totally replaces all of the bone. You are constantly producing new skin cells. All of the latest research is showing that many parts of the body that we were not previously aware of can actually regenerate themselves. For example, the liver. There is a lot of research being done all over the world about regrowing teeth. Isn't that interesting? But we're saying these systems are available to your body and Tom, in his work, has discovered these points which trigger those systems for you. So me as a pr practitioner, I'm not healing your body. I'm not putting any energy into your body. I am simply, for you, stimulating those points, those systems that, which you naturally have, so that your body can begin to initiate and activate those systems. Uh, question? Does anyone have a question? How did this body of work come to be? Great question. Uh, Dr. Tom Colso was already a practicing dentist, but he was taking access classes. Uh, I think he said his first class was 1999, so quite a long time ago. While in class, and if you're familiar with access consciousness classes, it's all about asking, what do you know? Ask questions, not taking someone else as a guru or as they're the expert you ask your body so his body started to have some uh, pain in a particular area in the top of his head it would cycle on and off it would be on for an hour or so go off for a few hours he he says quite candidly he thought maybe he had a brain tumor he thought maybe he had some weird um neuro disease going on <laughs> <laughs> We've got some really great bird calls happening here. Cool. And um, he went to Gary Douglas and had a private session to ask what on earth is going on. He went to Dr. Dane here and had some bodywork sessions. Dane said, I can't take this away. It appears to be a capacity that you have. He's gone back to Gary and Gary has said, this is a system of uh, restoring these uh, uh, systems for dental health in the mouth. This is the beginning. Go away and ask more questions and work with it. So as um, Dr. Tom would be working on a patient in his dental clinic, another point would activate and be painful or buzz. And he would think, oh my God, it's the brain tumor back again. It's, you know, until he asked the question, but okay, I was working on that patient that had gum disease and this particular point. What is that? What do I do with it? What is this? He kept asking questions. And over the last 20 years, I guess it's been almost, as more of these points have activated in his body, he's asked questions. What is this? What do I do with it? And that's how the system has come about. Interestingly enough, in the last, uh, I've been working with Tom almost three years. In the last year or so, two new points have come through. Two particular new points, which oddly do not seem to have anything to do with teeth as such. One is a point for hair regeneration, which many, many people, you would be surprised, men and women, are very interested in. Um, if you could restore hair growth in, in, a, in any area of your body. And the other one is called a youthening point. And this is actually to activate the systems in your body to youth instead of age. Who knew we even had such a system? How's it get any better than that? Uh, Phoebe, more information on that? If, if we take the class, yes. what 
does a happy mouth session look like? Um, you said we can okay. do more with clients on it. Is that yes. Uh, yes. What a happy mouth session looks like is that the client would be lying on a massage table fully clothed. They would tell you what issues they were having with their mouth. And based on what they told you, whether it was gum issues or bone loss or TMJ, um, the temporomandibular joint decay, you would then choose from a range of the points that we have, and we have charts showing where these points are on the head, which of those points to stimulate on the client's head um, for that particular issue. There's another part of this though, and it's part of the whole happy mouth thing. What we've found is it isn't as simple as saying, oh, well, you've got tooth decay, rub this point or rub that point and it will go away. We look at what energetically is creating that issue. So really your body is your greatest facilitator. Your body is always trying to give you information and awareness. Instead of saying, oh, I hurt my back, I caught a cold, um, I've developed diabetes, I've got cancer, like we do with access consciousness tools, we ask more questions of that. Well, what awareness is this? What is my body trying to tell me? Who does this even belong to? Did I duplicate something my mother had? Am I trying to heal another body? So happy mouth is very much about going, well, okay, gum issues. You've got some gum issues. We've found that gum issues are usually about not being able to make choices and decisions easily. Always being a bit wobbly about, oh, if I do the wrong thing, if I make the wrong choice, oh, I can't. And it, it's amazing how many of us have this thing going on with making a choice rather than just choosing, oh, well, that didn't work out so well and choose again, as an example. Decay is um, not as simple as saying, oh, well, I ate too many lollies when I was a child and I didn't go to the dentist often enough. Um, there's far more to decay, energetically speaking. So if a client comes in, you can begin to unlock with them by asking questions, well, what's energetically behind this? And this is where we get such incredibly um, dynamic and in many cases, fast results. Because once you get clear that, oh, my body was giving me information, my body was trying to let me know that I've been holding on too tight to something and it's time to start letting go. Ah, thank you, body. Once you have that awareness, you can start to unlock it as it's physically actualizing in your body. I have a question here, but I have to put on my glasses to see what it is. Um, Janelle is asking, would this help with overcrowding and overlapping crooked teeth in young adults rather than choosing teeth removal and braces? Yes, absolutely. We do have hands-on processes for this. We also say that we ask the body what it requires because there's nothing wrong with having um, braces or sometimes the tooth does need to be removed, but you work with the body. So there's no recipe or set rule for this particularly with young adults or children, you can use very simple hands-on processes while they're watching TV, then you don't even have to lie on a massage table to start to rearrange and change what's going on. And there will be an energetic reason, if you like reason, uh, position behind what's going on with the overlapping and the overcrowding. Yes. Shauna, I have seen you do this in, in past intros would you be willing to activate a point for us now or a system Ooh, okay there is a point that we call the master point um the dental generative point so if everyone would like to measure and it's a bit like if you're familiar with the bars we use fingertips as the measure three fingertips up from here from that point of attachment of the ear and then go one forward You'll find there's a little uh, ditch, a little divot, a little space. It's actually easier to do on someone else than it is to do on yourself. Feel around and often it's quite tender and push quite hard and rub it. And you might go, ow. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're activating, initializing, exponentializing the dental generative system.
Usually two to five minutes on a point is all that's required. Now to fully activate a system, you would need to do that once a day for 21 days straight. But this is going to start making changes for you already in the overall health of your mouth. We have points for the salivary glands, we have points for the lymphatic systems, for the um, gingiva, which are the gums. Okay. Actually, mine's a bit sore. My body's very excited about this. <laughs> Lots of bodies will be excited about this. Cool. So you mentioned doing 21 days. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Uh, yes. Like any system that really works, you do have to use the C word. I'm sorry to use the C word in, in, in public like this. The C word is commitment. <laughs> <laughs> and the commitment you will find with happy mouth is to having the points activated every day for 21 days straight and um, my mother Joan who's on the call and I did this a couple of years ago when I first uh, learned the happy mouth system on each other the results are just amazing and people ask me does it affect more than just your teeth as if that isn't enough yes <laughs> it creates uh, amazing changes in the whole of your body this is about having a happy mouth. This is about actually enjoying your life long after you've got your teeth well and happy and, and regenerating and, and, and changing. It's also not about solidifying and cementing your teeth into one time. We tend to want to do that with our whole bodies. We tend to want to go, if only I could get back to the weight I was when I was 16. If only I was as young looking as I was then. If only I could just get my teeth perfect and then that would be it. This isn't about that. We're actually saying that if you're thinking of living however long it is, whether it's 80 years or 800 years, your teeth are going to wear down. They may well wear out, which is why your body can regrow three, four, maybe five sets of new teeth. It's about change. Change is often really, really uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. One of the reasons that people are developing more and more tooth decay rather than less and less in this world of modern medicine, modern dentistry and, you know, education is that in the face of change, people kind of hunker down, stay home, watch more TV, eat more sweet food, junk food, and try and stop the change or subdue the change or block the change. That's one of the major causes of decay, actually. Wow. Who knew? Because <laughs> who knew? Okay. So what else is possible for us and our lovely bodies? And the key is to say thank you, body. Because if you still have a tooth left in your head, thank your body. If your teeth don't look as gorgeous as a great white shark, thank your body. Because as far as your body's concerned, healthy, happy teeth are functioning teeth. Your body doesn't have a judgment whether they're jumbled, yellowed, not perfect. So a lot of our projections, rejections, judgments, expectations of how we want to look, how we want to be perceived, um, and our teeth, that you've got to let go of all of that. So would you be willing to uncreate and destroy everywhere that you judge your teeth every time you look in the mirror? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Oh my goodness. And let's do a clip. <laughs> Carol? Carol, can you mute yourself? Carol McCoy, can you? <laughs> I think she has. I'm going to mute her anyway. Yep, I've muted her. So, oh, here's the thing I found. Anything to do with happy mouth seems to create incredible technological and electronic disturbance and uh, amazing stuff. It's just, it runs so counter to everything in this, what I call TikTok reality of nine to five, of death and dying it's inevitable what you're going to do you should really just 
suck it up and make do with what you've got. Oh, well, you, you know, what's that thing? Play the hand God dealt you. Pod and pock, <laughs> pod and pock, pod and pock, pod and pock. You know, unless you've got 50 grand to spend on having all of your teeth done, what are you going to do? Pot and pock that, uncreate and destroy all of those points of view because we are just coming at this from a totally different paradigm. And I have to tell you, my own part of my own little story with um, Happy Mouth is the issues that I originally was seeking to change change very, very quickly. An underlying tiny bit of infection that was at the base of a, a, a tooth that was having root canal therapy no amount of antibiotics seemed to clear that infection. I was sick as a dog half of the time. I would get well for a few days and then I'd have to take a few days off and lie down, basically. Um, two sessions of an hour each that my mother did with um, hands-on happy mouth, the, that infection went. I mean, my whole, well, I have to say my whole life changed because I was suddenly well where I'd been basically unwell for a really really long time that but the interesting thing is that in that cleared up i got a lovely new dentist and here's a tip find a dentist you love your body likes to be touched by and this is a very intimate part of your body someone it feels comfortable with if you don't really adore your dentist find a new one if the receptionist in the dental office isn't happy and smiling when you walk in find a new one because all of these things impact on your body. So I found a lovely new dentist. I went to her, blah, blah, blah. And I said, now I'd like to start a schedule of attending to the six or so fillings my last dentist said I needed. She took x-ray, the old dentist took x-rays. I saw the x-rays. I saw where I needed fillings. And the new dentist said, honey, you don't need any fillings. And I went, oh, yes, I do. I've seen the x-ray. She said, there are areas in your mouth that we will watch, certainly but you don't need any fillings. And I came out of that session totally gobsmacked because even though I'd taken Dr. Tom's telecall series, even though I'd had all the points run on me, I'd had amazing success, it still couldn't, I still didn't think that that could change. I thought if you had a hole in your tooth and there was decay, it just gets, you'd have to have a filling, don't you? Apparently not. We have a point called tooth structural integrity, which is for rebuilding broken bits of tooth. Now I have to say that a tooth may get to a point where it's so broken down, it's actually easier for the body for you to lose that tooth, have it removed, and for the body to grow a new tooth than it is for you to try and spend a year or, or six months or whatever trying to build back a tooth that the body's happy to let go of. The body doesn't have a point of view about losing teeth the way we do. Shauna. So yes. I'm saying your glasses are glaring. I think they want to see your eyes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. I, I could see that message. I'm going, your glasses are giving feedback. And I'm going, oh, flashback. <laughs> You're sitting in the sun. In the I'm sitting in the morning sun. It's morning here in um, Brisbane. So I have a question. Um, this is another great question. Thank you from Janelle. My husband keeps breaking... Can you read that, Phoebe? I now don't have my glasses on. <laughs> he's breaking the same tooth and is in pain. What could you suggest? It is it that this you're, that you're talking, that about. You're talking about? Okay, if he's in pain with it, look, I'm not a dentist, and I can't give you dental advice. That would be totally inappropriate. Um, mm -hmm. But pain suggests to me that if he hasn't already been to the dentist, he needs to go. There could be a nerve involved there. And happy mouth is not a substitute for the dentist. It's not a substitute for cleaning your teeth and flossing. You still need to care for your mouth. Your body adores you to brush your teeth and massage your gums and floss and if you use a water pick or whatever. Um, however, in the meantime, Janelle, what you certainly can do is some hands-on processes. And if you know any access consciousness uh, body processes, MTVSS, even if you don't know what that is, if you say the words MTVSS, put your hands around his jaws or his mouth and just keep your hands there while they run hot. Yes, she says, yes, I do. Half an hour, an hour, as long as he can, um, would like you to do that. He may fall asleep as often as you can. Uh, gives amazing uh, results. The access body processes work fabulously well with happy mouth. So Happy Mouth is not an access consciousness class, but it uses the tools of access consciousness. 
you're you're so welcome. Um, so where did I want to go with this? I I have a question. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, if I take the class, or I think I can also buy a teleclass series from the past. Is that correct? If I can. Yeah. Buy a class there. So that's I think a series of six classes. We um yes. When I met Tom, he didn't he wasn't teaching any hands on classes and um his only way of getting this material out to the world was in telecall series. And so we have done two together in the last couple of years. The last one ended in January this year. It is the Happy Mouse system as it was um up up until about six months ago when two new points came through. So yes, you can learn almost the whole um, system from the last telecall series that we did. It's very intense. There's a lot of information. Many of the calls ran to two hours. Um, we give you all of the clearings that are in those calls written out. I also recorded them as audios. You get all the charts of the head points and it's up to you to listen to those calls. Um, it will be intense because as you're listening, the, he activates the points on your head for each call. Say if the call's about gums, the gum points get activated. And I think that's what Phoebe's talking about where it almost knocked yeah. her over. Yeah. Um, you may fall asleep listening and have to listen again and listen again and take notes. Um, yes, you can learn that whole system and you can begin running the points on other people or get someone to run them on you. But of course, our natural progression was to take this to a three-day class where you actually get three days with Tom, hands-on in the classroom, people walking around checking if you've got the correct hand positions. And as I say, we, there have been some developments in the system since we did that telecall series. So my, my additional quest, that was sort of a mm. setup. Say mm. I take the class, and I don't have anybody in my territory to do the 21 days with. Yep. Listen, we suggest, yep, get a friend. You've got the chart. So we give you a manual. I haven't got my manual here. You, you'll get a manual if you attend the live class. If you get the telecall series, you get the files of the charts to print out yourself. Put them in a little folder, show them to your friend, and the instructions are there saying, find the top of the head, go one finger whip out, rub hard or go to the base of the skull go two finger widths along rub hard all the instructions are there show your friend what to do and get your friend to run the points on you they may like it if you ran them on them as well it is a million times more potent if someone else runs it on you you will not get the same results if you try and do it on yourself you can and that's wonderful but it's not the same that's generous to let us teach other people to do that so we can get that done. I well, like that. Well, yeah. Uh, what you will find with Tom is the target is let's get this out to the world. And that's definitely my target. I can't tell you how much interest there is in, well, we're taking it to, um, I, I'm doing a happy mouth taster everywhere I go in the world. Um, in Tahiti two weeks ago, the Tahitians have beautiful teeth. They have these beautiful, white, wonderful teeth. They have a wonderful diet there. And, of course, the young people coming through and you see a lot of toothless old people. There was an immense interest in learning the Happy Mouth system. I think we had 15 or 20 people turn up for a taster. We'll do a taster in Brazil. We'll do a taster in um, Phoenix, Arizona. Um, the interest all over the world is huge for this. These tasters come where Shauna travels to do her three-day body classes. So there's those yep. classes coming up in three places, four places in Australia, then uh, Phoenix, then Rio de Janeiro. So we will send all that information out to everyone who registered for the call. My point of view is why would you not be interested in the Happy Mouse system? For me, I see that it goes so much further than having nice white healthy teeth which is a wonderful thing but once you've got that sorted as um in many ways i have I, over the last two or three years i have a healthy happy mouth i have my regular dental checkups 
I no longer have the fear, oh my God, I'm almost 60, what's going to happen with my teeth? Is it all downhill now? I sort of go, oh well, what else is possible with that? What happy mouth point can I run? What question can I ask? I don't have that fear. Whereas I can tell you five years ago, if you've ever had the experience of biting on something and a tooth just crumbles away and you think, oh God, this is the end <laughs> for me. I'm now going to become an old woman losing teeth. It totally changes that, but somehow in that change comes this totally different way of looking at life. The class is also challenging and um, somewhat, it can be confronting, it can bring up some irritation because we're going back to all these lifetimes where you've had created these implanted or allow these implanted points of view to run your life. Yep. Yes. And it's stunning to me that after the years I've been doing access, you know, pretty much 24 seven, so much so that most clearings don't actually have a charge on me anymore, even new ones, that my butt can be so kicked by the stuff that Tom asks in these classes. And I've, been, I've done clearings around the commitment to death and degeneration and biomimetic mimicry, uh, but this somehow, and, and this is, so that's what I look for. The next thing that's gonna really go as deep as I can possibly allow and get that scoop yeah, and get cleared away. So that's exciting to me. It may not be exciting to everybody, but it's what I'm around for, for sure. Well, it's exciting to me and also that I could offer that to anyone who is willing to go on that journey as a, either a client or a participant in a class. You know, our next step will be to create facilitators of Happy Mouth. So not just practitioners. I mean, wow, can you imagine the need in India, South America, China, uh, anywhere in the world for this where well anyway so and then the fact that we will have facilitators actually traveling the world teaching three-day happy mouth classes um, how does it get any better than that that's amazing and I love the idea of setting up a, like a package to um, offer to clients of 21 days straight I would or, yes or, Yes. Commitment for me and you, yep. I will do this work for you for this much money. Yep. Uh, look, there are people starting to offer this all over the world. There are people in the US um, who, and, and this is just in how I structure it. You could structure it differently. I do a, a one hour happy mouth session for $175. Well, activate the points on the head for people. It's a kind of a taster because it's very intense having a session. It's very amazing. And then I say to them, for you to have a full activation of all the points that your body requires, it's going to have to be 21 days straight. Now, it's not 21 days of $175. So I encourage you to, and they may only be with you for 20 to 30 minutes. That's all it takes to do the points uh, each day. Um, so I encourage you to come up with some enticing package for people. It's... It's going to change their world and it's going to change your world too because as it's like the bars, when you're running those points on someone else's head, guess what? They're running on yours as well. Very how do, yeah, how do we get the luck? There are prerequisites and will Happy Mouth come at some point to Brisbane? So there are no prerequisites for Happy Mouth. Tom wants it to be available to anyone and everyone. And um, is the class coming to, no, the only class in Australia is Sydney in less than two weeks time, 14th, was it 14th to 16th of July? That was a really big thing to get Tom to come here. He chooses on, based on energy. He gave us three dates for this year. We had Paris, Sydney, and we've got Atlanta in uh, the USA in November. And we've got a date for January next year, but I, what else is possible? It would be at least another year before he could take that week off from his, he has a very big, very busy dental practice in the States. He's one of the top cosmetic dentists and biological dentists in the USA. So yes. And it's interesting that we had, I think about five dentists in the Paris Happy Mouth class. 
So how's it getting better than that? Mm. Changing the world. Changing the world one tooth at a time. Well, we, change the dentist, we change a lot of teeth, baby. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like that January date is it, we're being invited maybe to Rio de Janeiro. So just to let people know if they're in that part of the world or would like to travel there, it looks like January is ripe for Rio. Fantastic. How's it getting any better? Um, also, someone's asking or saying, yes, actually, the telecalls are good reference material. They are. And I, I don't like to advertise, but I would say even if you do the Happy Mouth three-day class, think about buying the, the um, telecall series because there is so much more material there that it's almost impossible for him to cover all of the information and then deal with everyone in the room, 50, 60, however many people have all got question, personal questions. For him to cover all of that, uh, is almost impossible. But if you've got all that telecall thing where it's two hours on gums, two hours on decay, two hours on activating new teeth, um, it is a brilliant resource. Oh, and the other thing is that if you've taken, if you're in the Paris class, for example, three day, it's half price for you to attend Sydney. If you go to Sydney, it's half price for you to go to the next class. So it's all about encouraging people come on, let's move forward to this. Let's take it to the world. And you might need to take more than one to be a facilitator at some point when that gets established. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yes, at least two, I would say, at, yeah, at this stage. Um, so I'm just looking at all of my notes there. Um, We will be sending out a follow-up with the class uh, dates and, and registration information. Absolutely, yes. Yep, and we do have, um, Tom's a bit of a rare bird to get a hold of. He did in May this year agree to do a Zoom live interview with me and that's available. We'll, I'll send you the link. It's also up on the Happy Mouth website, which is yourhappymouth.com. Um, several interviews and radio shows um, even with Gary Douglas he's been on Voice America twice with Gary and that's very rare Gary rarely has a guest on there and Gary fully endorses Happy Mouth um, is very has been very generous and very kind to me and allowed me to I always do Happy Mouth sessions in an access class when I go uh, with Gary's permission. Gary has always allowed me to talk about Happy Mouth in any class I go to. Um, so we really have his full endorsement and support for Happy Mouth. Basically, Gary Douglas has said he neither has the time nor the energy to create a right mouth for you. You know, we have all the right in access consciousness is right body for you, right riches for you, right relationship for you. Gary has long ago said he has no interest or time to do that. Tom does that, although we are not a part of Access Consciousness. He's been very generous in, in his contribution. Well, you do get a lot of clearings in the class. A lot of clearings, a lot of um, opening up where you may have had a fear of the dentist, where you may have had um, trauma going to a dentist, where even the smell of w walking into a dental office can make you your body cringe. Um, and things that are not really even related to dentistry. For me, this thing I had with my severely impacted wisdom teeth, which were basically rotting in my, in my jaw, um, I was so stubborn that I would not go and have them out by a surgeon. I was determined I was gonna find another way and it was basically killing me. And it wasn't until I had an access consciousness body process run on me that the next morning I woke up with the awareness finally of listening to my body body what are you trying to tell me oh i actually need to go and get these surgically removed because i'm killing myself now if you had said to me shauna are you secretly killing yourself i would have said don't be ridiculous i'm doing bars i'm doing excess consciousness you know of course not but that's clearly what i was doing which is why i'm saying your body is always your greatest facilitator if there's something not right with your body ask questions body what are you trying to tell me with this what information are you giving me 
it may not be what you think, well, it never is what you think it is. Good body, good body, good body. And what do bodies actually want to facilitate you towards? Um, wow, let me see, pleasure, happiness, joy, having a great time, enjoying the planet. And then what I said at the beginning was, if you're doing all of that, that actually creates a healthy planet, jackpot, woohoo. Could it be so simple? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And the other thing I'm asked is, well, do you really want to be worried about your teeth considering the state of the world today? Like, isn't that a little bit vain? Uh, hello? We are actually talking about changing the world here. Changing what go is going on out there starts with how happy can you get? How much can you be the energy of happiness? And for those of you who read my latest newsletter where I talked about being in Paris where it was cold, it was grim, it rained a fair bit. I'm in Paris, I don't care, I'll go anywhere. And the people there are so down in the mouth, they're so like this. I'm like, are you kidding? You live in Paris, why aren't you happy? Everywhere we went, there were not just policemen, but army people with like bodyguard gear on with these giant rifles like a Bruce Willis movie. I'm not kidding you. How much of a downer is that? Oh, here I am at the Eiffel Tower, surrounded by armed military personnel and police cars. <laughs> Someone said, oh, they're shooting the latest Mission Impossible movie here. I don't think so. I think this is how cities of the world, particularly in Europe, are functioning from at the moment. If you buy that reality, if you buy into that fear, you are actually buying death and destruction. I totally get that this class is going to make me all that much closer to the joyful embodiment that can lead to orgasmic living where everything is a contribution, where you tip that balance, where everything that comes at you is received. And look, it may be intense, guys. It may be really uncomfortable. Obstacles may come up for you to get to this class or to buy the telecall series or to be able to hear it. I get it. Um, the Paris class was like, we, someone took some photos of the first morning of the audience of the participants in that class. Talk about unhappy mouth. It was just grim and people were sitting there like this. You're going, oh my God. But we were, that first morning, we were clearing all of that stuff about death and dying and terrorism and the French election was on and the politics and oh my goodness the change after lunch was just phenomenal um yeah so everything that brings up for everyone can we uncreate and destroy all of that please right wrong good bad pod pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds and just let's start the change now we've activated that dental generative system Right now, wherever you are, if you'd be willing just to um, pull energy through the top of your head, down through your body, down through your legs, out your feet, into the carpet or into the floor, down into the earth. You don't have to see it or feel it. You just ask for it and it will occur. And then expand that energy out wide, 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 much wider than you as far as you like, it can go a thousand miles out if you like. So it's a little bit like you're sitting in a column of energy, but it has no boundaries. Like we say, go broadband. Pull more energy through the top of your head. Pull, pull more, more, more. There's no shortage. Open up all the channels that might be blocked in your body, in your energy bodies. You know, when you turn the hose on hard, sometimes all the encrustations inside the pipes get flushed out. Let that occur right now. And then, would you be willing to pull energy up from the earth? And it's like, oh, I don't like to take from the earth. Take it. Pull energy up through your feet. The earth loves you for that. Pull earth energy up through your feet, up your legs, into your hips, through your tummy, through your chest, up and out the top of your head, out your hands. Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Tingle, tingle, tingle! 
And you can do that anyway. You can do that on a bus, on a train. No one knows what you're doing. And it changes everything around it you. It changes everything around you. If you're, the, um, if you're the rock that drops in the pond, the ripples just go out. Be willing to be the rock dropped in people's ponds. It could be a boulder, but start small and, and build up, you know, be a pebble. And it's hilarious to watch be on a whole carriage of, of a train where everyone's grim and do that. It's easier when you're with a friend because you can laugh and giggle, but you can do it on your own and then just watch the ripple run down the carriage and back. And you'll know it's working when people go, because oh, they've felt the energy. Yeah. Cool. So, oh, any more questions? Any questions? Would anyone like to ask a question? You don't have to type it. You can actually say it. Unmute. And Unmute. Okay. No? Bernie is thanking you very much for the fabulous information, amazing stuff. So happy I was introduced to access so many possibilities. Yeah. You know, for me, this is like another, um, what, do we, what do you say, arrow in your quiver. It's another string to your bow. It's, it may be something you embrace for yourself. It may be something you embrace for your family. And it may be something that you embrace as a modality that you can easily learn, you know, easily learn that can transform other people's lives too. The people are out there looking for this stuff. The last two years, we've done so much happy mouth promotion we've talked about it i get um inquiries all the time like yesterday is there a practitioner in houston i don't think so is there a practitioner in london i don't know i'll check people are looking for practitioners they want to have sessions they want to know about this stuff so How's it sorry no go ahead just want to let people know again about your uh, classes coming up your three-day body classes as well as the three-day happy mouth classes yes the sydney class starts august 25th for the body class yep melbourne july 28th brisbane september 8th adelaide september 15th yep then shauna's coming to do a u.s tour so far we have phoenix october 6th we're looking for someone who would like to host Shauna or has a desire for there's a you know people who would like to attend a three-day body class we have opened the 13th through 15th of October so let's fill her schedule if you can if you know somebody that would be a contribution to a group of people who would like to rush on over there and create some magic and Atlanta three-day happy mouth class it's November 3rd 4th and 5th and I'm hosting that along with my friend Elaine Hedrick. Hmm. And we're looking forward to creating an amazing event there. Which I know you will. So with the three to access three day body class, for me, it's about the pleasure of embodiment. It's about getting you to a place where you are able to hear what your body is always communicating to you always 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 for that three days some magic occurs there's something about three days of doing body processes receiving them gifting them the processing we do um my point of view is if it's not fun why do it but you can have fun while you're having intensity nobody says that to you do they like you know phoebe will tell you i've i've in many ways been sick as a dog in the last month i was sick in paris i was sick all the way through tahiti sick 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 i thought i would die oh well i could still have fun i still went to the island of maria i still went swimming i still went to the pearl market i had a fabulous time and my body was having all these intensities in it you also embraced that you were changing beyond anything you have chosen before. <laughs> yes. And that yes. really helps. It's not just intensity or pain or whatever you want to call it for the sake of suffering. You knew no. you were grabbing something big and shifting in it. And maybe for all of us, you know, yeah. every time you do that, it changes everything for everyone. So thank you for that. <laughs> Oh, you're so welcome and you know what contribution can i be to you everyone online what whatever it is that you're choosing 
What contribution can Phoebe and I be to you? What contribution can we be to each other? Let's change, and it is already happening. The change is already occurring in the world. Yeah, maybe not the way we thought it would, but hey, it's happening. So, you know, come with us, join us, or do it on your own, whatever you like. But it's about the pleasures of embodiment, which is you get to really enjoy the earth and all its wondrousness and contribute to that continuing, expanding, and getting greater for everyone. Oh, and I just remembered something. Happy Mouth works on animals too. Huh. So if you're interested, cats, dogs, horses, elephants, whatever it is that floats your boat, <laughs> Happy Mouth ain't just for people. It's for pets as well, for wild animals. Hey, if horses are your thing, we'd re you know, there's some people already playing with Happy Mouth with horses. Let's let's see what we can create and generate for the animals of the earth mm, okay <laughs> so shall we is that shall we close do we have any more questions one last thing there is a happy mouth facebook page there is and it's anybody can join it you don't have to have had a happy mouth class already and so that's where people can ask questions uh maybe find each other uh, so just check that, or we can put that in the, the newsletter or the follow-up email as well, that there's a Happy Mouth page, and so you'll know what's coming up. Hopefully you're getting Shauna's newsletters. I think you will, because you signed up for this soon. Fantastic. So I guess that's just like a closing thing, is to remind you that um, I'm not making all this up. There's a lot of research that shows that 80% of what's, uh, causing disease, disorder in the body can be traced directly to the mouth. They're now talking about, well, they've been talking about for years, many, many heart problems are traced directly to bacteria in the mouth. Your body has systems that should be operating to take care of all of that. Your body has microorganisms that should eat plaque and calculus so it doesn't build up on your teeth. Those systems have gone dormant in most people. We're waking up systems that ought to be there. You ought to have a system that tells you, don't eat this particular food. It's repulsive to you, it doesn't smell right, because that's not gonna nourish your body at that time. But we've overridden all of those systems. So we, all of these things are actually available to your body. As far as your body's concerned, this is nothing new but they've been masked, covered up, shut down, submerged, whatever it is, over thousands and thousands of years. And for me, this is the key to going on and living as long as you'd like to, as long as you're happy, excited, creative. Once you get that other stuff out of the way, it's amazing how much creativity comes through. How's it getting better than that? Okay, thanks everyone. Thank you for taking the time. I get that in Europe it's like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. or something like that. Much, much gratitude. Lovely to see you all. Oh, I can see all the faces there. Okay. Toodaloo. And we'll get some translations Bye. happening. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Phoebe. Bye. Okay. Toodaloo. Bye. Bye.